So today we're going to be playing Genshin Impact and we're going to be pulling for Farina because I was sold after watching the special program. And then we are going to do the Archon Quest. So I'm excited. Farina's character demo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most spectacular show in the history of Fontaine. Please put your hands together for our national icon, Fontaine's biggest celebrity, one of the seven archons of Tibet, the Regina of all orders, kindred, peoples, and laws, Farina de Fontaine! Cute! Is she gonna sing? Vocal cords are ready. <laughs> Blood sugar replenished. Let the show begin! This is so cute. Oh, this is a bop. I feel like she's not actually this confident though. This is how she wants to be. the summons oh that was really cute that was so cute playback at 50 percent speed <laughs> the summons this is what sold me this is like the main reason i wanted to pull for farina i love the summons so much and that you can walk on water that might be the best burst ever. I'm excited to try Charlotte. This is so cute. I hope I can get Charlotte and Farina. <laughs> Guys, I'm not even close to pity. I wasn't even close to pity. I was at like 21 pulls. I'm not joking. I was at like 21 pulls. <laughs> and I don't have a 50-50, so there's only one person that it could be. <laughs> now we just need Charlotte. <laughs> I need Charlotte though. Dude, that was crazy. I saw the I saw the gold and I was like, no way. <laughs> uh, am I not gonna get Charlotte? Wait. <laughs> Okay! Okay, was this streamer luck? I don't know. Well, I'm sorry if that was anticlimactic for you guys, but also that was pretty good luck. I am satisfied with that. She is so cute. I really hope Risley's in this quest. I don't think I really saw him in the preview. It's so fun. <laughs> Here we go! Okay, that means I get to go see Risley, I'm pretty sure. Risley! Where are you, King? 
Please sign here. This document will be effective immediately upon signing, and you two may exit the Fortress of Meripede via the regular channels. Uh oh. Are you okay? <sighs> I'm fine, thanks. But I wonder what that tremor was just now. Let's go ask the Duke. Let's do it. Good idea. Is he gonna be magically there after I just checked? What is that? Your Grace. Ah, good to see you. Too. <laughs> Is there something you wish to see me about? Yeah, what was with that earthquake just now? Ah, that. The tremor didn't originate from the <laughs> seafloor. I'm sorry. In fact, it seems it came from the surface. If you recall our last incident, if there really were a problem, there would be crowds of inmates in a panic right now. I feel like you're gaslighting us. You've got a point. You're not going to see us off? <laughs> I knew you'd ask. All right, sure. Let's go. Well, oh. you actually agreed. Uh, no worries, you must be busy. Paima was just joking. <laughs> ah, so she wasn't you joking. Do have a side, and neither I am see. I. What did that say? Today should be the day you were released from the Fortress of Meripede. And it appears that you've managed to complete all the release paperwork. That's right, and we came here to see you right away. I miss Risley already. Hmm, a massive whale. I'm print screening that. What was that tremor we felt earlier? Oh, right. Paimon felt it too. We asked the Duke and he said it wasn't from underwater, so we figured you might know something about it. It turns out that I have just received a report about this particular matter. In fact, that's exactly what I was busy with a moment ago. Okay. The source of the tremor was here on the surface near Poisson. Oh my. Nobody around. Were they all dissolved? There's a guy up there. What is going on? Schedule. We haven't seen a single soul all the way here. Oh, this is getting scary. What's up with the Yeah, the music is so <laughs> emotional. Look, there's someone on the roof over there. Guys, I'm sorry, but the him being called disaster victim M, I just it's there's disaster victim F. I was beginning to worry. I see Navia. Okay, we're good. Navia is okay. Hey, Navia! Are you okay? <sighs> she looks so concerned. A little earlier, we suddenly heard a loud noise. At first, everyone thought that something might have exploded in the waterways. But before we knew it, water started... Pouring out from everywhere. Her voice got kind of quiet. Rushing water seemed a little odd, almost like the unique color of primordial seawater. Some people didn't realize the danger and thought it was just ordinary water leaking from somewhere. Okay. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. They were all dissolved. Those who realized what was happening started to flee in a panic, desperately trying to get to higher ground. Many were injured in the stampede, and some... some people fell from significant heights. Is there any way we can help, Navia? Yeah, we're here to help. Thank you for being so willing to help in a moment of crisis like this. You don't know how much it means to me. I really can't express how grateful I am. Wait, we're missing some people, aren't we? By the way... I'm back! Oh, oh no. By the way, where are Melis and Silver? <sighs> are they dead? Would you two accompany me to my father's grave for a moment? Oh my god, this is so depressing huh? already. Right now? I understand. Thank you. and silver they won't ever come back here again what should i do papa everyone agreed on the rescue plan but still i was the one who initiated it they were helping evacuate the residents but they couldn't leave in time and and they were caught in the seawater 
<laughs> I could at least hold a funeral for my father, and I know where he rests. But as for Malus and Silver, they're just gone. I just can't. Buying yourself a plot in advance, are you? <laughs> no need yet. But when I do, I hope you'll let me be buried beside Master Callus, Demoiselle. Hey, stop joking around. <laughs> I'm quite serious. That way, it'll save us both the trip to see each other whenever you visit your father's grave. <coughs> that makes sense. In that case, could I be buried on his other side? What the heck? After all, besides you, Demoiselle, the two of us could certainly be considered Master's closest companions, no? But I'd really prefer not to talk about this stuff. And what do you mean by saving me a trip? I'd make the journey even if I had to visit you two somewhere else. I'd promise to let them rest in peace here. But here I am breaking that promise. You could still make them a grave. I'm sorry for letting you see me in a mess like this. I don't usually cry, really. You can spend as much time as you need here, Navia. We'll stay with you. Yeah, we're here for you. Thank you. Right now, you don't know how much that means. By the way, you can have a look at this. It's a list of victims from the incident that took place here. This is really depressing. Obena, Khan, Burnett, Giverny, Francine, Karina, Daisy Ray, Joanville, Julianne, Esan, as well as Malus and Silver. So, everyone else is safe. But still. It's okay. I know what you're thinking. And you're right. We lost Malus and Silver. We were able to save more than we anticipated. The overall outcome indicates that the cost was worth it. Harry, thank you for the 100 bits. I really appreciate it. I, I'm enjoying it, but I'm in pain. Seems you've become more eloquent in the time since we last met. What the uh, heck? The knave? What? What are you doing here? Ah, uh, is everything going well on your side? Yes, my people are carrying out the mission according to your request. All the residents of Poisson have been evacuated, and we are preparing to relocate them to higher ground. Thank you very much. Wait, do you two know each other? Yeah, like, are they besties? What's going on? We just met recently. Right, Miss Navia? Without your help, there would have been many more casualties. Oh. I won't forget your kindness. Furthermore... I sincerely regret what happened to Malus and Silver. The name is so nice. I only wish that my people could have arrived a little earlier to prevent this from happening. I mean, this is her homeland. Don't say that. She said that. You and your subordinates did everything you could. So the time for jolly cooperation has come. Indeed. Allow me to share the latest intel I've received from the House of the Hearth's intelligence network with you. During some recent investigations, a child claimed to have discovered some ruins near Poisson. The ruins date back to ancient times. Look how beautiful. Be worth investigating in many ways. We'll go to the ruins together. All right. The ruins are to the south of Poisson. Here's the map. Let's go in and have a look. You don't like Ganyu's Just mullet? Just be careful. I will not accept this slander. It's not a mullet. It's a ponytail that doesn't require a hair tie. There's something wrong with this bridge. Ah. Run for it. Oh. Wait, no, no, no. Oh my god. That's not good. She needs to run really fast. No. Literally what? Oh, she's okay. What the heck? Demoiselle. Huh? Or what? Demoiselle, what are you doing here by yourself? Would you be standing here till dark if I hadn't come to get you? Is something the matter, Demoiselle? 
Oh, uh, no. No, I'm fine. I was just trying to recall why we came out for a walk. I, I do wonder if, like, the people who dissolve in the Primordial Sea, if, like, because we don't know too much about it, and, like, we know it dissolves people, obviously. But what if it doesn't actually kill them? Like, what if it just sends them to another realm or something, and maybe we could find a way to bring them back? You never know. Oh, Miss Navia. Ah, uh, Mr. Malus. And Mr. Silver, too. <laughs> it's good to see all of you. Sometimes force is required to calm someone down and get them to listen to what right. you have to say. Was this guy in the list? <laughs> That's right. I've heard this name before. Sometime recently, I'm sure of it. Yeah. We must mind the time, demoiselle. We still have important things to attend to today. God, what if they're actually Just all not dead? Here. No Here way. You are. I've been looking for you. Please come to the opera house. Your trial is about to begin. Look, it's Navia. She's here. There sure are a lot of people here to see the trial. And they all seem to be oddly excited about something. I even know some of these people. My dear Miss Navia, have you not yet realized what you've done? In that case, allow me to explain. We are one big family, all of us who are from Poisson, inextricably linked. And with you being so important, we could This really does do feel like a fever dream, okay? Therefore, this fair and honorable court like... shall declare you guilty, <sighs> and you shall stay here. You will be together with us forever. I seem to remember now. Yes, I get it. This trial is... Wait just a moment. This isn't right! Malus? Do you mean to defy our justice? So if you fall into the primordial sea, you become like one? We acknowledge it. As you said, we can also have our own justice. Is that like they're trying to like... Silver and I shall defend Demoiselle. I remember now. Everything that seemed odd from the very beginning. <sighs> I don't want to admit it, but... But they're all dead. After all that happened, she should not be left alone in Poisson. Huh? What are you saying? No more excuses. Who's jealous of her? She belongs to us. Miss Navia. She... Silence. Oh! How do you get here? Uh, Monsieur Nervillette. Such commotion is prohibited in the court. The accusations you just presented are nonsense and cannot constitute a proper trial. The court will adjourn for the rest of the day. In this, I shall hear no objections from any unauthorized party. <laughs> Our thanks, Monsieur Nervillette. Go on now, demoiselle. This is your only chance to lead this place. What, can't bear to leave us behind or something? Malus. <laughs> My apologies. I couldn't resist making one little joke once I realized that this shall be our last goodbye. Malus. Silver. Quickly, you must come now. Goodbye, Demoiselle. Farewell. What the heck? Uh, no, wait! Just a second! Hey! Navia? You're awake. Good. The ruins you were exploring suffered a cave-in. When I arrived, I found you falling toward the water. You were just about to be dissolved within, but I... Hmm. Hmm? What is it? I think I saw two Oceanids protecting you. It was only for a moment, perhaps even a fraction of a second. But they gave me the chance to retrieve you. Were it not for their intervention, I would not have been able to rescue you before your consciousness dissipated. Wait, did you say Oceanids? You mean like what happened with Vache? What the heck, man? People that are dissolved become Oceanids? Perhaps those two Oceanids were the people you saw in your dream. <sighs> I always told them that they didn't have to protect me. <laughs> to think that they'd keep doing so even after death. 
I'm upset. Why do you look so stiff all of a sudden? Oh, Paimon knows. You're the type who feels awkward when there's nothing to talk about, right? <laughs> I merely thought that we should give Navia some time to herself. I know, Thank tears you. already. I have indeed been busy lately, and I also hope that everything is going well in the fortress of Meripede. That was emotional. Uh, he still doesn't know what to talk about. Uh, let's chat about something else then. Honestly, like, when I first found out that they died, I was too much in shock to really process it and, like, cry. But that part got me because it was, it was, I, goodbyes are, are hard for me. Nuvalet's conversation skills are like you, same. <laughs> Social anxiety, just like me, for real. Mm? Stung. Is that Farina? It seems That's Farina! Like the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. God, if that happened in this quest. <laughs> I think what's going to happen is that I do think that everybody in Fontaine who is from Fontaine is going to maybe be taken by the flood. But I think that Farina will save them somehow. That's just my that's just my own personal thought. <sighs> Hyman's already starting to forget what happened today. Is that Mona? Oh. That voice? Is that who I think it is? Why is Mona here? <laughs> Mona! What are you doing in Fontaine? What are you doing in Fontaine? Well, I have some business to attend to here, so I booked a hotel in the city. I was just out for a stroll when I bumped into you. Quite unexpectedly, if I might add. There's something ominous about it. Well, the water, I mean. Did you come to Fontaine because of the prophecy, Mona? That was the main reason, yes. I love when they put, like, older characters into the new story, though. Like, it makes me so happy. You're here! Finally! Uh, is something wrong? Monsieur Durvalet and Lady Farina, they, they seem to have gotten into a dispute! Please go see for yourself! Oh no, they're fighting? Uh-oh. Like I said, I've already explained everything! I'll ask you again. Do you really have no information regarding the previous Archon? My deciphering of the slates indicates that the Hydro Archon Egeria once had to confess to, or apologize for, a certain sin. He is very father figure. If anyone would know about it, yeah. it should be you. <laughs> oh, so you've been watching me all this time, have you? I didn't think you were that type. Oh. Oh. Well, since you know about my <coughs> secret investigations, then you should know I'm actually working to take care of it. Just trust in me, your Archon, and do as I say. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not, it'll all turn out fine. She's pretending to be confident. And that's all I have to say. We do not discuss this but matter again. But she's not. We may have to create a situation in which she will have no choice but to speak. <clears throat> Lend me your ears, everyone. <clears throat> or perhaps one of you might like to start us off. How about you, friend? <laughs> Fremenet. Uh, me? No, I don't think Fremenet I can. Fremenet is so me. To cut to the chase, our friend here, the Traveler, has brought us together to discuss something. As for what that is, well... Uh, let's start by saying that we'll be pooling our efforts together Get to it? create pooling? a series of traps. In that case, <clears throat> do any of you have experience hunting? Uh, I've also gone diving to catch some fish before. Does that count? <laughs> uh, I'm afraid not. What about you, Monsieur Nivellet? I fear I do not have any related experience. Hmm. That makes sense. You usually solve problems directly, without the use of any such tricks. But I do have one more question for you, Monsieur. If we were to create a trap now, how would you design it? Hmm. I would like for it to be effective, but bring no harm to the prey. A more gentle trap would be ideal. You know what I just thought of? Once again, I've forgotten about... Child. Uh, did you just pour some tea? Pyla didn't notice you doing that at all! No, I didn't. Well, either it was Lynette. I've never seen that cup before. 
or Risley. Don't be frightened. I'm just joining you two for tea. Or I merely refrained from saying anything till now. Or, or, or the tea. The tea is the tea. Who are you, and what do you want with us? Consider me a passerby. Allow me to ask you, will Fontaine's prophecy come true? The prophecy. Yes, what has been prophesized will be fulfilled. You may view such things as the history of the future. <coughs> Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspectives of the gods. Could things be happening in hidden corners where the gods' gaze does not fall? Are the things that you shall see different from the fate that the gods perceive? I'm overthinking. I think it just means that Farina knows a lot more than we do. The tea in the teacup is- I believe that you understand, right? Some things are insignificant, but others you must reach out to change. Ultimately, fate shall serve as your only guide, no matter what will happen in Tavat's future. All you need to do is to play your part. Hmm. This was good tea, by the way. Thank you for your hospitality. Well, that'll be all for today. The voice. It's gone. Interesting. Mage N, is this the clue you're leaving for us? Goodness gracious. Are you serious? I believe she came to pass a message to us. She said that even the god's gaze has blind spots. Pretty bold if you ask Paimon. Most people would believe the gods to be all-knowing, right? The Hexen Circle members are certainly anything but ordinary. As for the mage named N, the old hag has mentioned her a few times. She said that N's sense of direction is incredible, and that she loves guiding those who are lost. Yes, she was quite cryptic, but I suspect she means that there is still a way to turn things around. She didn't say when or what that would be, though, so... I think Farina knows. Perhaps it is something that you cannot know right now. Oh, are you here to buy cake, too? <laughs> it seems Monsieur Nervalette was right. You really can eat. <laughs> Wait, did he really say something like that? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Even he has his own preferences when it comes to food. As for me, I love the cake and coffee here. Do you come here often? Mm -hmm. Usually every day. Every day? It's part of my daily schedule, apart from work. I shall have my cake and coffee. Uh, then what if someone told you one day that this place would be closing soon and you wouldn't get to eat cake here anymore? What would you think? But why would it close? Paimon. Well... Paimon doesn't know either, but maybe, maybe the waters will rise tomorrow. You know, like in the prophecy. Oh, the prophecy. Why is she oh, saying to that? To be honest, I haven't paid much attention to that. No, still, even if there'd be no more cake tomorrow, that wouldn't keep me from having some <laughs> today. No, no, it's the same for eating in general. You might not be able to eat tomorrow, but if you can do so today, then you should carry on. That's what people call living you. I like that, Sadim. Wait, Charlotte, Paimon's still got a question for you. Mm hmm? And what's that? If, just for example, Fontaine were to be flooded tomorrow, what would you do today? Huh, that's the prophecy you're talking about, isn't it? I mean, I do hear about it often, but I've never once thought that the day could be tomorrow. If you're seriously asking, then I might try and think of a way to leave Fontaine. Oh, but I'm still a journalist, first and foremost. That means I have a duty to be reported well, wait a the second. scene. And secondly, I wouldn't forsake my homeland that easily. Well, hold on, hold on. I didn't think about this. Wait, if they know that the prophecy could happen tomorrow, why don't we just evacuate everyone? Just think about it. If this nation really were to be suddenly destroyed tomorrow, but I still successfully finish an exclusive interview with a truly unique person. Then the story I would wind up writing would truly be timeless. And then do you know what I'd do? Well, I'd write that story, send it for printing, and use messenger pigeons to get copies out to the various nations as soon as possible. I'm not a dreamer, nor am I a workaholic. But I do love my job. And I'd be proud of leaving She's such so an article She's so cute. Behind. I guess you could say that I was born to be a journalist. What would the logistics be of evacuating a population of an entire country? Well, 
it is just a video game. So I don't know. Just bring them over to Samaru, I guess. <sighs> Should I just give up? This is all meaningless. What was meant to happen did happen after all. Everyone's dead. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Farina? Who, who, who's that? Don't worry, Farina. It's just us. <laughs> so, it is you, blonde traveler from another land. Blonde traveler. Why, I almost thought you were someone from that mob of my ignorant subjects. Come to kneel and beg for my forgiveness. Stop trying to act tough, Farina. I... Uh, of course not. Hey, there she is. Poor Farina. Over there. Get the heck out of here, guys. Farina uh, just ran off. Uh, wh what? What is this place? Hurry, they're almost here. Fine, fine. I suppose haste is warranted. Lead the way. Violence <sighs> exhausting. Imagine the smell. <sighs> I'm so tired. <sighs> I totally thought they had caught me. You might want to lower your voice to stay hidden. <sighs> you were right. Ash. Yep, that's a good girl. Uh, what's happening? The ground's shaking. Is it an earthquake? Oh no, another disaster just struck, I suspect. Yeah, a quake of this kind preceded the flooding in Poisson, didn't it? As Serena finally reached her limit, now that she's talking about her actual feelings, she's starting to look far less stiff. You begin to talk amongst yourselves as Farina slowly calms down. It's true. I've been investigating the prophecy for hundreds of years. I once had informants all over to VAT, searching for clues and feeding information back to me. But even then, you still haven't given up, right? <laughs> Give up. <sighs> I do love the sound of that phrase. It would mean finally coming to terms with fate, but also for me to finally be free. But that would also mean that all hope would disappear. Indeed. I've thought about giving up so many times, especially after we almost lost Poisson. As long as the final moment hasn't come, it's still not too late. Don't worry. I... I will keep hope alive for everyone until the very I'm end. Back. <sighs> well, that's <laughs> enough for now. I got the impulse to play the stricken maiden, but honestly, I love her! my random station, that wasn't a good fit at all. <laughs> Come on! Paimon could have sworn you were actually being honest just now. She was! Uh, running out of time. We can't just go back to square one like this. I have to get more information out of her. That was the real her. She is such a theater kid. Amber Lee Connors went hard on Farina's voice. No, seriously. That's so much, so much range. So good. Farina, you might not have to shoulder this burden alone. Although I don't know what you might be keeping from everyone, your people are more than willing to share your burden with you. Share <coughs> my burden? That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be my duty alone. But even if your burden doesn't need to be shared, you can still choose to confide in someone. Just share it with me. I'm what you'd call a witness. A witness? <sighs> Yes, I've heard that you came to Tevat from beyond the stars, yes. In other words, you never belonged here. And if Tevat is, in its entirety, a show on a stage, then you're just a spectator, aren't you? <sighs> if that's the case... There's no time left, please, Farina, just spit it out. <sighs> Wait, what? 
Wait. 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 Oh. 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 That was the trap. We hunted her. <laughs> Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I didn't even realize that's what was going on. I didn't even realize. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this concludes my opening performance. Now, without <laughs> further ado, we may proceed to the trial of our god. Ah, so this is what it is. Yes, you deserve praise for the effort you took to raise the dramatic stakes. Do not forget, however, that I am Fosalor, the god of justice, the embodiment of justice itself. Does it not strike you as even the least bit absurd to bring the very concept of justice to trial? May I interpret these words as your refusal to stand trial? In that case, you will have the opportunity to defend your honor. <laughs> You would draw your blade against a god? <clears throat> See, <laughs> it seems like you have made up your mind. Paimon can't believe it. She... she just surrendered. What the heck is going on? Did I just see an Archon surrender to a, a <laughs> human? Wow, how utterly humiliating. Oh, poor Lady Farina. Farina. What is the meaning of this? Uh, shh. I, Farina, will use this trial to show the world the true meaning of justice! This time, I will protect you. Mark my words. This shall be one of the most exhilarating and brilliant shows ever to grace the stage of Fontaine! The trial of the Hydro Archon, will now begin! I love how she's playing Woo into this. <laughs> All right, then. Who will be my opponent in this trial? The court asks the prosecutor to please take the stand. Thank you, Your Honor. Is that so? Very well. Then please speak, witness of Tivat, my accuser and fated opponent. We were so close to getting her to tell the truth. And it still turned out like this in the end. The prosecution and the defense are both in position. The trial shall now begin. Phoenix Wright! Oh, come on, Nervilette. There's no need to repeat all the unimportant legalese. Just fast forward to the part where the prosecution lays out my offenses. As the defendant and the lead actress of this performance, I still haven't even been informed of my supposed guilt in all of this. Of course, it is only natural for humans to struggle to understand the actions of a god. However, you will need more than that to convict me of a crime. That's true, but my charge here is unrelated to your conduct as an Archon. Whoa! He's dead. I would like to charge you as a fraud who has never been the Archon in the first place. Wait, what was that? Lady Farina's a fraud? Whoa! Hey, I came here thinking that we were going Whoa, to Whoa, Traveler! Duty, but did I hear that right? She's not our Archon at all? Charge accepted. Whoa! Lady Farina, do you plead guilty to the charge? Uh, <sighs> Lady Farina. Oh. I plead not guilty. How can I be guilty? See? <laughs> Even the Oratrice has decided to show me its favor. Are you sure you want to commit to a charge that will never be upheld? Huh. An argument with near impossible odds, huh? Hmm. You have to not only refute Farina's claims, but also overturn the long-held beliefs of the people. But then who would the Archon be if it wasn't her? That's the thing, because Nervalette is the dragon. I'm so confused. Sometimes I do wonder if, like, Child's instructor... Maybe she is going to play a very significant role. I forget her name, but... I don't know. Skirk, yeah. I feel- I feel like that, um, that meme on TikTok that's like, it, uh, what is it? Sometimes I just hate talking about stuff like that because I'm like, I'm probably saying something so stupid. You're allowed to cook, thank you. 
I get nervous though because sometimes I cook and people are like, why would you even suggest something like that? That clearly could never happen because... And then they lay out the facts and then I'm like, well, yeah, you're right. But like, I... <laughs> also... I don't know. Yeah, that's me. You tried to reference the Oratrice. But weren't you as confused as all the rest of us when the Oratrice declared Child to be guilty without any proof? True. Otherwise, you should have come up with a good explanation for that by now. It is true that I did not know why the Oratrice gave out a guilty verdict that day. You can't... You can't argue that just because a divine creation is flawed, that the god behind it must also be no god at all. <sighs> She's still throwing out all kinds of excuses. Seems like she's confident that we won't be able to produce proof that she has no power over the Oratrice. Sure, we could put the Oratrice aside for now, but then, Miss Farina, could you give us a brief demonstration of your power as an Archon? My power as an Archon. There are many ordinary citizens in the audience. How can I just carelessly demonstrate the formidable power of an Archon? It's true that she hasn't really ever shown her power before. I'm prepared to extend my protection to the audience. Hey, come now, everyone. Please don't stare at me as if I was a liar. I'm still the same Farina you knew, right? The one that you loved. <laughs> Shouldn't you want to believe in me, please? You got to believe me. If what the prosecutor said is true, she really has committed a grave offense. Did she deceive all of us? And all of our parents and grandparents too? And then all of our ancestors? I don't think it's that simple. Since they were born? I don't think it's that simple. I think it has to be something along the lines of I don't I don't know exactly what. Either like she either the previous Archon tried to pass the power down to her, but she hasn't been able to harness it. Or or there is another Archon somewhere that we've not seen. I don't... If we can't prove that she isn't the Archon, we can try to prove that she is just a human. And if she's only human... Since you insist on claiming to be a god and not a human, then there's a method that you can use right here and now to eliminate all suspicions of you But she would alive. die! If we are to believe that you are indeed the real Hydro Archon, touching the seawater would have no effect on you. All it should do is strengthen your case. <sighs> Due to the inherent risk of the test, Lady Farina, you may... <clears throat> what? Hey! So, she actually... <sighs> Why is she so nervous, though? Should be enough. Please announce the results of your evaluation to the court, Miss Siegeween. As everyone doubtlessly saw, Miss Farina was displaying symptoms of hyperventilation and flushed skin. These indicate that she was experiencing the adverse effects of exposure to primordial seawater. The extent to which she was affected is the same as other humans when exposed to primordial seawater of a similar concentration. Thank you, Miss Siegeween. Lady Farina, you may return to the defendant's stand. Oh, wait. What did she just say? I didn't get dissolved. Shouldn't that be enough to prove my innocence? Well, if it's not concentrated... ...to run from your problems, we did originally prepare a direct sample of the seawater around Poisson. However, after extensive discussion, we exchanged it for a sample that is not concentrated enough to dissolve an actual human. Yeah. After all, on the off chance that something entirely unexpected might occur, we don't want anyone else to lose their life to the sea. Yeah, so out of regard for Farina's life, you secured a low concentration sample and asked the head nurse to serve as an expert witness. It's a great thing that the direct sample wasn't actually used. Farina could have... I... I can't believe... You... So, like... What's really going on here? Farina can't have known the consequences of touching the water as a human. 
This is too unlike how she usually acts, unless it's actually more important for her to keep up her facade than to save her own life. But hadn't she given up everything a long time ago? Listen to me! Listen to me, everyone! Please don't give me such cold and disdainful looks! What happened just now didn't prove a single thing! Think about it! How can you conclusively prove that an Archon can't also be affected by the I mean, that is water? true, and I was thinking also, about that. Also, if I was really just a human, why would I dare to just put my hand in that kind of water? <laughs> She's so nervous. The voice acting's on point, though. Oh, Farina, don't cry. I believe the time for arguments and presentation of evidence has come to an end. <coughs> if there are no objections. We will move on to the final judgment. Oh, God. Oh, that's right. Wait, 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 wait. I just remembered. I just remembered the trailer. They're going to sentence her to death. In my capacity as Chief Justice, I shall now render judgment on Farina's misrepresentation of herself as the Archon of Fontaine. As a human who knowingly deceived her fellow citizens, Farina is... But, but she did, she did... Guilty. No! She said she was going to protect somebody this time. I don't know what she meant by that. So, like, I don't... Who is she protecting? The real Archon? We shall now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. I forgot. I forgot about that. It's Star Rail. <laughs> Not the Star Rail reference. <laughs> According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. Farina. Farina is no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Well, what's wrong? What's the Oratrice's verdict? No. Here, sorry. I don't want to do this. <sighs> Did the oratrice just declare Farina to be innocent? No, we know what happened. No. I've seen the, the trailer. The oratrice also displays a guilty verdict. However, the exact wording of the verdict is thus. The Hydro Archon, guilty <laughs> to be punished via the death sentence. Uh, the, the death sentence? That's actually one of the available sentences? I've always thought that it was just a myth. The one and only time the death sentence has been handed out at the court, and it's been given to the very person we've worshipped as the god of justice? What an unexpected twist. Farina's been sentenced to death by the Oratrice? Is this sentence really appropriate for the crimes that have been committed? No! Yeah. Um, excuse me if I may interrupt. Okay. Is the trial still going? <laughs> Fremenay, oh, you finally made it. I assume this means you've completed your mission? Please save the day, uh -huh. Fremenay. I'm anxious. Any mission Father assigns to me will always be top priority. Is that the first prophecy slate? Who's the person in the middle there? Huh. So the name privately arranged. <laughs> what if it was child? Looked everywhere. <laughs> Sorry. Finally found it at the bottom of the sea. Huh? So what do you see? What is it? Uh, this looks like the previous Hydro Archon releasing her divine power, turning the Oceanids into human beings. And that's what I'm saying. I think that there is a way to save the people who have been consumed by the primordial sea. I've been saying that. I believe I have now made sense of the Hydro Archon's crime. It has to do with Fontaine's lost history. Huh? Isn't the Hydro Archon just guilty of deceiving her people? Oh, wait, no, that's Farina, and we've already proven that she's not the Hydro Archon. When we were at the ruins, I tried to decipher the hidden information recorded in the slates. But since we only had three slates at the time, I was unable to come to a full conclusion. Now that the slate collection is complete, I shall make another attempt to decipher the narrative recorded within. If everything goes well, we should finally be informed of the unadulterated truth. 
Okay, who's this? Well? Did you get it? I believe I should share this truth not only with you, but with all the people of Fontaine as well. I will try to briefly summarize it for you. Your hypotheses regarding the origin of Fontanians and the sin of the Hydro Archon were both correct. Okay. In the Fontaine of old, the previous Hydro Archon sensed the yearning of her Oceanid familiars for life on land. The Oceanids were enamored with the beauty and romanticism of human beings, and wishing to have those experiences for themselves, expressed to the Hydro Archon their desire to become of a similar kind. She poured primordial seawater into the Oceanids' blood vessels, creating humanoid mimics in the process. But if Fontanians were to ever come into direct contact with water from the primordial sea, the power within their bodies would escape these Whoa. artificial restraints and return to the sea. As a result, their forms would collapse, and they would be reverted to their original forms as Oceanids. This really might be too much information for your regular Fontanian, but it does answer a lot of our questions. Alas, your hypothesis regarding the third and fourth stone slates was inaccurate. The slate's respective positions are, in fact, correct. But why is Lynette a cat? Maybe she's just a furry. If we're talking about a true culprit, that could only be that thing inside the primordial sea, right? Uh, the truth, the original sin, the trial, and the root cause of the disaster. Okay. This is so interesting. <laughs> the, the whale! Oh, this music! This is very Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> What if child is in the whale's mouth right now? And he's gonna he's gonna spit out child. <laughs> that's that's So we've met it at last. I understand very well why it has chosen to make an appearance here. That whale does not belong to Tevat. It is a monster that has traversed the stars, mm. weeping all the while. You said that when the Hydro Archon first created Fontanians out of Oceanids, she filled their blood vessels with primordial seawater. Precisely. That whale finds the blood of Fontanians nigh impossible to resist. Therefore, when it left the primordial sea, it decided to make its next stop a packed opera house full of food. Food in the form of Fontanians. We've come so far. You can't just tell me that the last hurdle is some impossible foe. That's just not fair. Indeed. That's not how a grand performance should end. <laughs> I'll fight it to the end. No matter what. So the prophecy will be fulfilled no matter what, huh? That's not what the teacup said. The prophecy. Yes, what has been prophesized will be fulfilled. You may view such things as the history of the future. After everything, it still turned out like this. We couldn't fight against fate. Wait, but if this is all about fate... Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspectives of the gods, could things be happening in hidden corners where the gods' gaze does not fall? Ultimately, fate shall serve as your only guide, no matter what will happen in Tevat's future. All you need to do is to play your part. Could it be that even if the prophecy will be fulfilled, there will still be a way to save everyone? That's what I think. Did I miss something? Wait, I forgot about Farina. What was it that she wanted to say to me at the last moment? Oh, God. What is her real secret? Huh? 
What's happening with the oratories? I believe it is preparing to carry out the death sentence. No, you what? what? Oh my god! You. <laughs> I like how it says, oh, uh, Farina! <laughs> Sorry. That shocked expression on your face is just too amusing. I couldn't help myself. Is that the same voice actress? You are not Farina. Who are you? Ah, the sweet sound of bewilderment. Marvelous. A sure sign that my attempt to deceive everyone was a resounding success. But to answer your question, I am Fosalor. You know, the god. That is some range. That's really her? She is so talented! Fosalor. Why did you deceive us? Oh, that wasn't my goal, of course. Goodness, no. But I had to fool everyone else, too, if I was to stand any chance of deceiving the Heavenly Principle. Deceiving the Heavenly Principles? So yes, as you have no doubt surmised, it was a rather impossible situation that I found myself in. I spent a terribly long time mulling it the over. Music. Alone on the ocean floor. And I was almost growing barnacles by the time I finally realized there was only one possible solution to this confounding conundrum. <coughs> I had to outwit the heavenly principles, allow the prophecy to be fulfilled, ostensibly at least, while saving everyone at the same time. <laughs> I'm a genius, I know. I can only assume that's why Egeria chose me as her successor. <sighs> but one can only play the hand one is dealt. I did not choose this. Any more than I chose to be one of her Oceanid familiars. So you were also once one of the Oceanids. Oh! Transformed into a human by Egeria's hand. After becoming a god, I separated my divinity from my body and spirit, leaving behind only a self that was as naive and bewildered as my past self on her first day as a human being. The me you see before you now is that divinity, and the human counterpart I left behind, I named Farina. Okay. She could feel joy, sorrow, and everything in between. She could be as vain and conceited, or as meek and vulnerable as she wished. Her strengths were of a kind only a human could possess, as were her shortcomings. But in my eyes, Farina's humanity was what made her perfect. She was perfectly human in every way. The person I always wanted to be. Anyway, so then I cursed her. All part of the plan, of course. The plan to deceive the heavenly principles. <sighs> Do you still remember 5D the braining of the prophecy? The Hydra Archon, alone, weeping on her throne, under the curse I placed on her. So long as I, Fosalor's divinity, continued to exist, she could not die. But nor was she free to live her life in the pursuit of happiness. This was one of my theories. Instead, she was forced to take the stage in the Opera House, to embrace the role of leading lady, to forever play the part of the god from the prophecy, 
all to create a deceitful appearance of that prophecy coming to pass. I suppose now you probably understand why your court is called the Opera Epicles. But Farina is only human, isn't she? Even though she has had a long life, her mind is no stronger than that of any other ordinary human being. I cannot begin to fathom what she has had to endure. It must have been torture for her. It has indeed. And although she is, in a sense, me in human form, I most definitely owe her an apology for it. It's been five hundred years, and all along, she's been playing her part in the most unimaginably long... That's so sad! ...and lonely, and agonizingly painful opera of all time. Where'd she go? I came into contact with Farina's tears, if I remember correctly. Tears... Okay... With sufficiently strong hydro sensitivity, I can form an emotional connection just like I did with the Oceanid at the Fountain of Lucene. Wait, could this be Farina's inner world? Farina, what is she doing on stage? Wait a moment. That probably isn't Farina. That's likely a reflection of her inner self. If I can directly speak to that self, I might be able to easily get what I wanted to know. I came here for answers. Either way, the opportunity is not to be missed. Let me try talking to her. Yo, this is crazy, and this is very Kingdom Hearts. I'm sorry, I have to say it. It's so Kingdom Hearts. Even the music earlier! Oh, who permitted you to come onto this stage? Now, I understand your admiration for my august self, but I must ask you to keep to the rules. Come on, it's me! All right, all right. It is not my intent to reprimand you. There is no need to state your name. Just be off with you. Do not distract me from my performance. But I don't see an audience here. <laughs> oh, do not jest. Can you not feel it? Those little sub speech bubbles are so sad. Dang. Rent was due. <laughs> Farina. Farina. Huh? Uh, who is that? I will tell you how to save everyone, but you may have to suffer somewhat. Oh, oh, so there's still hope after all. Goodness, you frightened me. You spoke so much and with so much certainty. She's so sweet and innocent. As for the suffering, well... I will admit that the first thing that came to mind was, why do I have to be the one to suffer? You must begin a never-ending masquerade. You must never let anyone suspect your That's identity. so much pressure! If you can keep it up, then I shall have my way of defying this prophecy. To accomplish this mission, you will have to stay on the stage for many, many years. You will endure and not grow old until your task ends. But I promise you, all will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial, and everyone will be saved. A trial? Huh. How exciting. I'll be looking forward to it. This is crazy. It makes sense okay. now. And next. It makes sense. I've been saying this whole time that she's not really a confident person and that she portrays herself differently than she actually thinks. And we've been seeing that throughout the the story, but I didn't realize that that's the reason. I thought she was just like kind of insecure. Um this is really interesting. I will say too, as a neurodivergent person, I can 100% relate to her like internal and external struggles. Shouldn't gods be all powerful? She's being so modest. What's the difference between her and an ordinary person then? If you ask me, perhaps the succession didn't actually happen. She might just be a maison back puppet. Wait, what's going on? 
Why is everyone suspecting me of being a fake? Oh, this is bad. If I get exposed here, there'll be no saving the people from the prophecy. <laughs> this audience is just YouTube comments. Oh my god, so true, actually. Calm down, Serena. Think. Think. What do the people want? How would they imagine a god to speak and act? Why is this so me? I say that justice is most fragrant when it blooms amid sin. Appear earnest. No, this won't work. Okay. Play. All right. Sorry. Turn up the drama. The scales of <laughs> justice should not weigh heavy in the hands of its god. The day is finally over. Nice. I haven't had a moment to breathe this whole time. No, but it's good to see that everything's getting on track. There are no longer any voices of suspicion. Maybe this is fine. I just need to keep going, and everyone will be saved. All right, Farina, don't think too hard about this. You need rest. Tomorrow's a new day. That's too much stress on her. Please set her free. Scene 182,375. Marina, it's oh, it's like a dream being able to speak with you up close like this. She must be so I exhausted. The first member of our family who was honored to receive an audience with you was Madame Dioteria almost 20 generations ago. Are, are you oh. crying? Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> really now? I didn't even notice. <sighs> this must be the overflow of Hydro from my person. <laughs> well, can't quite help being the god whose dominion is the waters, can I? I feel that. Uh, no wonder. All I can do is keep heart. I must maintain this act. <laughs> It is the only way to save Fontaine. Please, mirror me. You have to succeed. I'm so overwhelmed. She couldn't even vent. She couldn't even tell a friend. She couldn't... <sighs> Farina, you don't have to shoulder this burden alone. That's my voice. Is this scene from when we were within the giant magic box? Oh, yeah. This is great. I didn't think this scene would replay in her inner world. Surely I'll find out what she Share wanted to tell me. my burden. She's right. I could confide in her, couldn't I? But... Why didn't she? things don't play out as expected, the people of Fontaine will be the ones to pay the price. No. My Farina, poor sweet angel! Be selfish. No. I have nothing to say. I am Farina. The Archon of Fontaine. Everything will surely get better. All you need to do, dear spectator, is to witness my performance until the curtains fall. Fine. <laughs> she did want to tell us, but she didn't want to be selfish. It's so sad. I'm sure you've long sensed that the Oratrice is no simple machine. Yes? I've always suspected that it had its own consciousness. And Linny did mention that he heard a human voice within the core chamber. It now seems that that person was you, hidden within the machine all along. Am I right? And then I became one with the Oratrice, taking Fontaine's Gnosis with me. Yes, it would seem so, wouldn't it? Alas, your understanding of this device still lacks sufficient depth. In truth, it is no enactor of justice. It is, in fact, a device created to kill the god of justice. I beg your pardon? Well, yeah. Oh, you have it. And to be more precise, not only will the Oratrice take down the God of Justice, it will also take down the Divine Throne upon which she has been placed. Uh, maybe we don't do that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> did you think I would be the sort to enjoy peaceful repose while Farina suffered? My work over these last 500 years 
has been to constantly accumulate indemnity like, within the oratory. That's a really big sword. Really, that's overkill. Some have already discovered that only a small fraction of the energy generated by the device was ever used to provide power to Fontaine. The vast majority has been, had to be, accumulated to enact this death sentence. It was all a part of your plan then. Both the trial and the sentence. Indeed. This power, accrued over five centuries, could have sustained Fontanians for millennia had it only been used for that purpose. Almost all of it has now been stored within the oratories. But only power of this magnitude could hope to destroy the Hydro Archon's divine throne, shaking the rules established by Celestia. And breaking through the I think I understand that is the seven. So the Oratrice's call for death was for neither Farina nor Fosalor, but for the Hydro Archon. The destruction of that divine throne. If I do not misunderstand your intent. But how do we You must be returning what's rightfully yours to you, of course. In other words, this was all done to return the authority of the Hydro Archon to the Hydro Dragon of this planet. Okay. But... Oh, what? Getting sad again, are Is we? she gonna, like... The authority of the ancient dragons shall soon be yours once more, O oh Hydro Dragon Sovereign. And this is the face you make. <laughs> all you've done throughout the years... I knew it's it. just so you can sacrifice yourself at the very end. I've never quite seen it that way, you know. Even now, I'm quite pleased at how well my deception worked. <laughs> <laughs> hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry. Oh, I'm so overwhelmed, sorry. <laughs> First of all, Nervalette is such a sweetheart. Second of all, I'm not ready for her to sacrifice herself. <sighs> the hour of my execution is almost here. For the sinner, the curtain call has come. I know I may not sound it, but faced with death, I find myself a little afraid. Perhaps this is one thing both gods and humans have in common. <laughs> Farewell, Nervalette. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. <sighs> They're not gonna show it like fall on her, are they? Hereby declare 
people of Fontaine, your sins are forgiven. It's time to end this. We must mete out punishment to that beast. Wait! Didn't you say just a moment ago that it can't be defeated? I have gained the strength sufficient to deal with it. Through certain means, I now have the ability to separate the power of the Primordial Sea from that creature. Okay. We should seize the opportunity to pursue our quarry. Oh, you obtained the power just now? Traveler, now that the Oratrice can no longer function, I require an executor to help me mete out justice. You mean me? The root of the calamities befalling Fontaine. The beast that enacts the prophecy. Its name is the all-devouring Narwhal. Come with me, traveler. The hour <laughs> the name. of execution <laughs> has come. I'm so like, the all-devouring Narwhal. <laughs> How can you take Narwhal seriously? That's what I'm saying. I'm <laughs> God, Nervalet is so cool! Whoa, this is so beautiful. What the- can find a way to attack it from within. This- Nervalet, stop talking. I can't think. I'm sorry, I love you. This is by far- I just started this fight. This is the most beautiful boss fight in Genshin Impact ever. Like, this is actually insane. I'm- I'm actually- I'm actually shocked right now. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm gonna fight this thing. I'm just so in awe at the what? I can feel its sorrow turning into hostility. We're way behind schedule. <laughs> Why'd she say that? Don't attack me! I can't even get a hit. I have granted you my protection. Do not fear. <laughs> what is this dubstep? Use my power to suppress its root from within. <laughs> Witness the might of the primordial. Yo, Ray Chase sounds so good here. Okay, I have like something on my head. I'm too overwhelmed to know what I'm supposed to do. I'm I'm sure Nervalette just told me what I'm supposed to do. Well, I There we go. into a shrimp. <laughs> I had a feeling Skirk would have something to do with all of this stuff. I don't know. She's it's so cool. pretty. Wait, didn't you also mention a visionary person? Paimon didn't quite catch their name. Actually, never mind that. I believe it expedient to inform you that the all-devouring Narwhal used up nearly all its strength fighting you. Such roiling hydro energies will prove difficult for the planet's deep seas to digest. As such, the Fontaine back on the surface has most likely been thrown into chaos. In other words, the prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. What? No, there's little to be surprised about Paimon. No! It's natural after all. The prophecy will surely come true. We knew this and accepted this. However... Not to worry. Fosalor has already managed to deceive the heavenly principles. Yeah, so... In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only Farina will remain. Weeping on her throne. No way. 
We're gonna fix this. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. We're gonna fix this. I'm gonna cry just at how beautiful this is right now. Hey! Help! Over here! I wish you guys could feel my heartbeat right now. <laughs> attacks post disaster <laughs> rebuilding. I recently visited Poisson. Why was that so good? Honestly, seeing Risley show up in that ship was just just icing on the cake because you know he talked about how he had that prepared for when the prophecy would happen and I just love him. He's such a good guy. You're the best incubators of news if you haven't noticed. And also with you around I'm sure I'll get to see that duke. Uh, he, she's me. Hasn't he turned you down several times already? She's literally me. Oh, this time will be different. Wow. Guess we're here again, huh? There's a real nostalgic feeling to this place. I agree. Looks like you've been missing us. Duke! Did you come all the way to the entrance to greet us? Of course. I'm here to welcome you and our dear Miss Charlotte, who <laughs> our good head nurse recommended to me. It's an honor to finally meet the much-rumored Duke. <laughs> thank you for consenting to my visit to the fortress, sir. No need to thank me. But that said, I shouldn't be the focus of your interview. I trust you recall our agreement? I have to apologize, but that ship is presently in the bowels of our factory. I'm afraid it won't be easy for you to get a shot of it. Really? Well, then in that case, could I have an interview with you to make up for that loss? You already know my answer, I'm afraid. 
Best you interview our head nurse instead. <laughs> or perhaps you'd like to take another photo of this couple of researchers? <laughs> He's so funny! Did you really have to use the word couple? Well, well, what do you know? Come to the docks to see how my children are doing and meet the traveler by chance. Please do not pay my accomplishments in Fontaine too much mind. I would have done them regardless. Are you going to take the <laughs> Daddy. To Daddy's here. That is our duty as harbingers. Yes. Don't be too preoccupied with sides. I just remembered something. Please help us deliver a this. <sighs> oh, child's vision. Right. I'll remember to return it. Thank you for keeping it safe for him this entire time. No prob. Okay, here, here, here. Ready? Yahoo! Can I say? Ah, oh, Lady Farina. The people are only aware that her death sentence has not been carried out. She abdicated the post of Hydro Archon and left affairs related to that title to me before leaving the Opera House. She simply said that she was tired Aww. and needed to rest. Having said that, she then packed her things and moved out of the Opera House. Not unlike how an ordinary person might. Um, but she's, she's gonna take a to big stay, right? nap. Huge. As an elemental dragon, there are indeed many things that I must do. But this power so cool. and this duty, in a manner of speaking, you could say that both were granted to me. Life flows like water, and rain is the final answer. The water levels may sometimes tilt one way or another, but the rain falls fairly upon all. That's deep. And what ultimately is the difference between the rains that fall upon all of us? Wow, that was really deep. <laughs> what the heck? <sighs> that was so good, guys. It was long. I, it's, but it went, it, even though it was long, it was so good. It went by so fast. I can't believe it's already 1 a.m. Like, that's, a, it, it was peak. It was peak. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, we now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. The judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. Okay. <laughs> he even did his own version. What? Ray Chase? According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, we now turn to the Why is he twerking? The judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse According to the judgment. I can't do this.